Kia ora, hello people, we're here on Heartland Farm and uh, here with uh, this brother Brent, he's just come back from uh, Vietnam. Kia ora. How was uh, Vietnam bro? Oh man, it was awesome and I, um, I had a really great time, great people, um, great experience and I recommend it to absolutely anybody. If you're thinking about it, just do it. <laughs> just do it For and sure. uh, you were there for, how long were you there for? Vietnam specifically only a week, but then I was in Laos and in Thailand also. So I was in that neck of the woods for three weeks. And um, they have their similarities and they have their little differences. And uh, it's a really great place to explore. Great adventure. And uh, also it's good to know about their culture and the language. You're, you're a bit of a language man as I'm well. I'm a bit of a language nerd, yeah that's <laughs> true. So um, yeah, I, I love to learn about languages and cultures as they're one and the same, they're tied together. So if you learn a bit of the language, you get a little bit more of an insight into the culture, which I really enjoy. And um, and yeah, it's uh, and it's you, just, do you recommend it for people to go over and experience it? And absolutely, um, Southeast Asia. I mean, my my little theory is that they're very much like us Polynesians and Maori. Yeah, um, they're they're Asia. So you get that the colourfulness of Asia and the exotic differences, but you get the similar um, laid back, family oriented. Uh, attitude with a uh, Polynesia. I think so, yeah. one thing I enjoyed over there was the food man What, what can you tell us about the food and oh, your the experience food is, from it? The food <laughs> is great and not only is it tasty and, and interesting and different But uh, you can eat a lot of it and it's not fattening. It's not heavy um, So you find yourself eating frequently because a because it's so nice But B because um, it's, it doesn't fill you up and weigh you down I found I lost a lot of weight going over there and I think yeah. it was probably because of the small portions Which is pretty pretty good. Absolutely. Yeah, you can lose weight while eating more than you th more than more than you did before <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, no awesome place awesome bro. Yeah. These are some of the hives that we've got here a couple of our beehives You can see all the bees getting getting stuck in there what do you think of the temperature back here, brother? Just um, I've been fortunate. I've come back to, to a nice couple of days now, so uh, I was expecting to freeze when I got off the plane. <laughs> yeah. But um, but now I'm really. I actually missed what sounds like I missed a pretty bad run there. You had a yeah, we had a few cyclones back here. Mm. The weather was quite floody. Yeah. Uh, actually, when I got back off the plane from Asia last year in November, it seemed like it was still winter. But actually, it was the end of spring going into summer. So the weather's been pretty weird back here in New Zealand. But. Yeah. Uh, it's to be expected, this is New Zealand, sometimes we get four seasons in a day. That is what it is man, it's <laughs> part of what makes us us here with the weather. But now nah, um, compared to Asia, I, like I came back and it's been mild and kind of warm so I've been lucky. Yeah. Oh, awesome bro, so uh, any uh, kind of uh, projections or goals to go back there in the future maybe? Yes, yeah, so well what I've been doing and what I, what I did this time inc increasingly is um, just building up my local knowledge, my local uh, language skill. Uh, in Thailand and, and, and other countries to, with the idea that in the future I'll be able to facilitate other people coming and experiencing it too. So I'm still in the building, the learning phase and yeah, uh, you're, you're a bit of a, uh, a language nerd and you break down the language and you, you even taught me a couple of things last night which was pretty interesting even with Thai language. And yeah. Well it's um, what I was saying to the bro too is, um, and I strongly believe it is if you if you have a second language whatever it may be um, it sort of gives you insights in how to learn a new language or a third or a fourth and that's why you get these people who are amazing They're called polyglots and they're people who speak you know right. 10 or 20 languages, languages yeah. And on the surface it'll just seem like they're just freaks who can just learn better than anyone else But the truth is each time you learn something new of a new language it increases your capacity to learn more, to learn more. so they yeah. get exp exponentially easier it, It's kind of like you find a formula yeah. for learning and your brain, it's like it opens, uh, the only way I can explain it, it's not very scientific, is it opens like a portal in the brain to learn languages. Right. Um, which is, for many of us, for most of us, closed until such time that yes. you open it. Yeah, and when that happens and you start to scratch the surface, uh, it's, it's really exciting. It's like but, you've you know, gone through the school doors to the school and now you're in the school. So you pretty much, they let you into the classroom, yeah, yeah, you know, yeah, like suddenly you're inside <laughs> the classroom. But that said, it still takes effort and, yeah. and passion and determination. It's, it doesn't make it easy, there's no magic wand. Yeah. But it just gives you some strategies. So anyway, uh, that's part of 
travel that I really really love. Oh, it's awesome. exciting and it's it's challenging, it's tiring. Tiring it's it is. It's I embarrassing, you yeah, put yourself in situations that are difficult but um, but I, I I'd embrace all of that. And you were saying last night too that they sometimes speak, well they do, they speak at a different tone but to us like here in New Zealand for speaking at their tone would seem a bit kind of ridicule or not ridicule but a yeah. bit funny to us yeah. to speak it but to them it's normal and it should be the way that it, it should be I think, be I think yeah that, that's part of one little strategy is to try to sound like you're speaking that language which sounds odd but like with a Asians have a certain tone and if you can uh, emulate it to a certain extent you can you you you're better understood yeah. so yeah so all of these there's a there's a million strategies that you can employ to to try to be better understood and language at the end of the day is about communication yeah so so if it's effective and it works even if it feels a bit silly or funny or weird um, you're doing you're doing it yeah it's working it's so, working yeah. so that's that's exciting um, and when, when you mix that with all of the different things you're seeing and experiencing and learning and the people you're meeting now you learn all those differences and you you experience them but you also equally if not more experience how people are the same yeah and i've enjoyed Worldwide, that too globally. You know, we're human beings and and uh once you get over your differences uh, you start realizing we have so much in common and that's um that's heartwarming as well because you realize you actually realize we make too much of our differences yeah i think so <laughs> we eh? make a lot of them we make a lot of it like it's a really big deal yeah when in fact they're interesting, they're exciting, and they're fun to learn about, but ultimately they're not as big yeah. as the similarities. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Yeah. So and anyway. we share the same planet, really, you know, the same totally. sun, so... Yep. These are... They, We're a brotherhood. That's yeah, what exactly. you feel from traveling. So if, if ever, whenever you get an opportunity to travel, uh, and you open your mind and your heart, you, you, you'll feel that too, I believe. Yeah. Oh, awesome. Well, thank you for your uh, insights into your, your travels and all the best for the future. And uh, I'll leave a link down below, guys, so you can check out this guy's videos. He does uh, YouTube videos and some of them in Te Reo. So, uh, Ngāpuhi in Asia. Ngāpuhi in Asia. So I'll, I'll leave a link for you guys to go and check his uh, page out. So sub him up and uh, follow his journeys as well because uh, he's on a good, uh, a good roll and he's doing some great stuff there as well. So yeah, thanks for your, your time brother. Sure, bro. All the best. Awesome.